Good morning. Welcome back into Wake Up America. Let's get back into the fallout from Silicon Valley Bank and New York-based Signature Bank, both failing over the weekend. The Biden administration has guaranteed that customers will have access to their money starting first thing this morning after Signature Bank was closed by regulators. Joining us now for more, Massachusetts Congressman, former chairman of the House Financial Services Committee, a member of Congress for over 30 years, somebody who knows all about this, Congressman Barney Frank. Great to see you this morning. Thanks for being with us. Welcome. So, Congressman, you were you're literally a board member uh, at New York based Signature Bank, the bank that that collapsed a day ago. Uh, what advice were you offering the bank leading up to last night? Well, we uh, we didn't collapse. We got collapsed. There's a very real difference between Silicon Valley Bank and our bank. And in fact, we were the victim, I think, of a contagion generated by Silicon Valley. There was a clear contagion. Um, I noticed even in some of the uh, newspaper articles noted the surprise. We, I, I think that, that it was a mistake. We're going to get a, uh, an answer to that, by the way, because the FDIC will be selling our bank. I think somebody's going to get a very good deal because they're going to get to buy a bank that is in really pretty good shape. Um, and uh, we were aware of the interest rate risk and all the other factors. I think part of the problem was, from the regulator's standpoint, uh, our bank had gotten involved in digital. Now, we did it in a very sound way. Uh, what We were not ourselves heavily invested in digital as our uh, part of our base, but we allowed and facilitated our customers if they wanted to deal with each other in digital. But I think one of the things that's come out of this is the regulators sending a, uh, a clear signal to stay, stay away from digital. Okay. I think uh, that, that's, w that's what caught... Cause the problem for us, and what happened to us, just to answer your question specifically, on Friday, there was no sign of trouble until Friday when Silicon Valley failed because people said, Oh, you've got a lot of high end depositors and you've been involved in digital. Yeah. We began to lose deposits. That's what triggered it. So that's fascinating. I'm not sure the American public is going to see it that way. I think a lot of people are waking up this morning saying, Here we go again. Uh, Congressman, you famously sponsored Dodd Frank back in 2010. Uh, right in the middle of the Great Recession. Um, did Dodd-Frank work, or is this happening all over again? Oh, no, it worked clearly, uh, because what we said was we had a problem that we resolved back then with regard to uh, uh, underfinanced derivatives and bad mortgages. We also said, but something could happen again. We don't know what it will be. Well, it turned out digital has been a very destabilizing factor. But what's going to happen is the federal government stepped in uh, both the FDIC and the Federal Reserve, and is preventing the contagion. What happened in 2008 was the failure uh, of a couple of institutions generated a domino effect because so many other institutions were indebted right. uh, to each other without the money to pay it off. That's not happening now. So that uh, you're, you're not going to see anything like a repeat this time of what happened in 2008. Actually, uh, uh, as the Wall Street Journal editorial noted, a couple months ago, the financial system is in better shape. Institutions are much better capitalized. Last time, the institutions in 2008, okay. when money owed to them wasn't paid, they failed. They are now in much better situation. And those were really blue chip institutions. Lehman Brothers, Bear Stearns, that started it all off. Uh, do more banks fail this week? I don't think so. What the Fed has done, and they, and on the bailout question, here's what we did. We changed the law so they would not be able anymore to do what they did for AIG, which is to give them $160 billion in loans, although they were paid back. Um, what we said was, if an institution has misbehaved itself, it gets dissolved. If it is a victim of a contagion fear and institutions, and this is where we are today for, I think, signature was included, they didn't. But what we said was institutions that are lacking liquidity, lacking cash, but are basically solvent, but they're getting illiquid temporarily to deal with a deposit run because of fear and contagion. Okay. The Fed step in and lend them money, lend it to be repaid with good collateral to get them over the illiquidity crisis. The Fed is doing that, and I think that will prevent the contagion, and that's exactly what we said we were trying to do. Congressman Frank, less than 30 seconds. Just, just two quick ones, if I could. What are you expecting the president to say uh, in about 35 minutes to try and calm markets down? And are you expecting a big sell-off after the opening bell? 
Um, I don't know what the president's going to say, and there's no point in speculating. People who are too impatient to wait are not going to get any. Uh, let them wait 35 minutes. I'm not a great guesser. Um, I don't know. I, I think what the Fed has done, both with regard to the uh, the back backstop bailout, whatever you want to call it, uh, for lending money, not giving money to deal with the liquidity crisis, and making sure that people meet payroll. And by the way, that's the reason for the guarantee of deposits. Right. It's right. so these companies can make payroll. And I thought that should have been part of the thing before. So okay. I don't think there's a logical reason for a sell-off, but everybody understands short-term, trying to guess the market is another bad idea. All right, former Massachusetts Congressman Barney Frank, we appreciate you breaking down that uh, this entire thing for us as we try to figure it out this morning. Thank you.